for the first time since partition, the number of Catholics living in the North outnumbers Protestants. Uh, that's according to those latest census figures from the North, which show nearly 46% of the population identifies as Catholics, 43.5% identifying as Protestants. On this one, Alice, Alison, you'd agree, a historic change, yeah. symbolic or more significant than that? Now, I actually think it's 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 a seminal moment in its own way. And I think that, it, you know, a lot of people would have been despairing about the Good Friday Agreement maybe in, in recent times. And, you know, not in terms, obviously, of the lives that it saved, but where does it stand now or, or what's going to happen? The fact that the Assembly uh, isn't sitting and that, that politics in the North just seems to be at such an impasse. Whereas what I think that those figures today show, which, which were, were fascinating, is what in many ways has been allowed to blossom as a result of the Good Friday Agreement and the, and the fact that people are no longer being killed on a daily basis mm -hmm. in Northern Ireland. That figure where you have about people, 19.8% of people identifying as Northern Irish only. I mean, the way identities in, in the North, it was just almost set in concrete. Mm -hmm. And what we see from those figures today now is that softening. And that the way that the way people are, are able to move out of just the simple either you know nationalist or, or yeah. loyalist. So also, it, for me, then it, it makes it really interesting what Sinn Fein are going to make of this. I one of the more fascinating aspects for me, if Sinn Fein get into the government, get into government here after the next election, is how they would go about um, this. What they say is their main task of wanting to have a referendum, and this actually clearly, I think, complicates that that for them. OK. Um, do, do you agree that this makes it uh, more complicated, Jim, um, about this talk of a border poll? They can't, they can't have that talk until there, there's a, minor, minority, a majority or it's seen as being, um, you know, something that, that could come about. Is it really on the horizon? Well, listen, I think historically it's of great significance what happened today. When you think of how Northern Ireland was established, it was established for the specific purpose of ensuring that mm -hmm. Protestants in the northeastern part of the island would retain a majority permanently within the state. So that has ended. It's of historic significance. I hope it's not enormously politically significant, however, because I want to see a united Ireland. I'm very passionate about the united Ireland. But I just don't want to see a united Ireland arising as a result of a sectarian headcount. I don't want to see a united Ireland come about the same way that Northern Ireland came about, where there was simply a majority of Protestants over Catholics, and that's how it was determined. Mm. I want to see United Ireland on the basis that people north and south recognise that their shared vision, irrespective of their religion, is in a unified state. Now, in terms of what's the pathway ahead for it, I would have thought preparation needs to come in respect of what this new United Ireland would look like. We can all talk about our aspiration for it, but at some stage, individuals have is to say... Is there talk about it in Fianna Fáil? Yeah, I mean, is there that, is. I mean, there's a lot of talk in Fianna you, Fáil. There's a lot you, of talk everywhere about it. Do you think it. there's a lot of political talk about it? Do you think that preparation that Jim is talking about it, it is there? Is it something, you know, the Labour Party are discussing? It, is it something that's on, it, on it, the it agenda? It absolutely is. That's something that the trade union movement is talking about. It's something that everybody, I think, in, in, in the country is, is talking about. And the, the big thing that As I got from today... a popular and positive yeah, move no, uh, in the future? Absolutely. But, you know, w those of us who want to see a united Ireland by consent, uh, I think, should reflect on, on, on today's um, statistics. The most interesting one is the question of identity. Mm -hmm. And what we need to do is persuade, and there's a job of work to, for nationalists and republicans, to persuade those from the centre ground and indeed unionists yeah. who may be reluctant to join a, a united Ireland as to what the benefits would be. And actually, we have a job of work to do ourselves. And right. Jim, Jim would agree as well, and everybody, I hope, would agree. We have a job of work to do as well to describe what the offering is to, to unionism right. and to make sure that okay. we can actually vindicate their rights and their identity in, in what, what I would hope would be a future united Ireland.